Our journey commences at the ruins of Persepolis, a testament to the grandeur of the Achaemenid Empire. This city of columns and base reliefs, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was once the ceremonial capital of an empire that stretched from the Indus Valley to the Nile River. Conceived and initiated by Darius the Great in the 5th century BCE, Persepolis was a symbol of Persian power and culture, designed to awe visitors with its architectural splendor. The city's layout, with its palaces, halls, and treasury, speaks volumes about the empire's administrative prowess. The Apadana Palace, with its grand stairway, was the heart of ceremonial activities, where the king received his subjects and guests. The bas-reliefs on its staircases depict people from all corners of the empire bringing gifts, a silent yet eloquent testimony to the diversity and reach of the Achaemenid Empire. Persepolis was not just a city of stone and mortar, it was a canvas where stories were etched in stone. The bay reliefs, intricate and minute, tell tales of royal audiences, processions and rituals, bringing the past to life. They are a window into the soul of the empire, revealing its beliefs, traditions, and the daily life of its people. The city's grandeur was short-lived though. In 330 BCE, Alexander the Great, in a controversial act of war, set fire to Persepolis. The city was reduced to ruins, its glory lost to the ravages of time. But even in its ruined state, Persepolis continues to capture the imagination of all who visit. It stands as a symbol of Iran's rich heritage, a reminder of a time when the Persian Empire was one of the greatest powers of the ancient world. Persepolis, a majestic embodiment of ancient Persian civilization, sets the stage for our exploration of Iran's historical sites. It's a testament to the artistic and architectural achievements of the Achaemenid Empire, and a beacon that draws us deeper into the tapestry of Iran's history. We now find ourselves in the heart of Isfahan at the Naqsh-e-Jahan Square, a marvel of Iranian and Islamic architecture. This grand square, also known as Imam Square, was constructed in the early 17th century under the rule of Shah Abbas I. Its name, Naqsh-e-Jahan, translates to, Image of the World, a fitting title for a place that offers a snapshot of the world during a significant period in Iranian history. The square is encompassed by magnificent structures, each a testament to the architectural prowess of the Safavid era. The Ali Kapu Palace with its elevated terrace and music rooms adorned with intricate cutout decorations, is a sight to behold. This six-story royal residence was where the Safavid kings would sit, high above the square to watch the polo matches. On the opposite end of the square the Shah Mosque stands tall. With its dazzling blue tiles the mosque is a masterpiece of Persian architecture, its dome, reaching for the heavens. The mosque's acoustics are a marvel, designed so that a single imam's call to prayer can be heard throughout the entire complex. But Naqsh-e-Jahan Square is more than just the sum of its architectural wonders. It's a vibrant hub of culture and craftsmanship that continues to this day. The square is alive with the hum of artisans at work, their hands expertly shaping metal, weaving carpets, and painting miniature artworks, just as their ancestors did centuries ago. Among the hustle and bustle you can feel the spirit of Isfahan, a city known as half the world, for its rich culture and history. The square is a gathering place for families to enjoy picnics on the lush grass, for locals to share tales of the past, and for visitors to immerse themselves in the rhythm of Isfahan life. Naqsh-e-Jahan Square, a bustling cultural hub, stands as a testament to Isfahan's historical significance. This square with its awe-inspiring architecture and vibrant artisan culture is a vivid reminder of Iran's rich history and its enduring cultural heritage. We venture back in time to 1250 BCE, at the ziggurat of Chokazanbil, an exceptional example of Elamite architecture. Rising from the desert landscape, this colossal structure is a testament to the ingenuity and architectural prowess of the Elamite civilization. Constructed with baked bricks, the ziggurat is a four-tiered edifice, each tier smaller than the one below, forming a terraced pyramid. It was an ambitious project, a demonstration of faith and power, built in the heart of the Elamite kingdom, today's southwestern Iran. The purpose of the ziggurat was not merely architectural grandeur, it was a religious edifice, a bridge between the earthly and the divine. The ziggurat was dedicated to the Elamite god, Inshushinak, the god of Susa, one of the oldest known settlements of the region. Here the Elamites sought to commune with their gods, offering prayers and sacrifices in the hope of divine favor. What sets the ziggurat of Chokazanbil apart is its remarkable preservation. 
Many ancient ziggurats fell into ruin, their bricks taken for other constructions or worn down by the unforgiving elements. But Chokazanbil stands resilient, its grandeur undiminished by the passage of over three millennia. It is one of the best preserved ziggurats outside of Mesopotamia, a fact that has earned it a place on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The ziggurat holds within its walls the echoes of a civilization long past, a civilization that was a contemporary of ancient Assyria and Babylon. It is a relic of a time when gods walked with men, when every brick laid was a prayer, a testament of faith. The ziggurat of Chokazanbil, a monument to the Elamite civilization, continues to mesmerize us with its enduring presence. It stands as a silent sentinel, a keeper of secrets, a bridge between the past and the present, inviting us to journey back in time and explore the rich tapestry of human history. We arrive in Tehran, at the opulent Golestan Palace, a royal residence that showcases Persian craftsmanship. This grand edifice, nestled in the heart of the city, was home to the Qajar dynasty, a lineage of rulers who held sway over Iran from the late 18th to the early 20th century. The palace's history is etched in every corner, from its lush gardens to its ornately decorated halls. The Golestan Palace, meaning Palace of Flowers, lives up to its name. The walled garden, an oasis amidst the urban sprawl, is a testament to Persian love for nature and art. It's a symphony of meticulously manicured plants, murmuring fountains, and vibrant mosaics that paint a picture of paradise on earth. As we venture inside, the palace's interior is a dazzling spectacle of mirrors, tiles, and paintings. The mirror hall in particular is a marvel of Persian artistry. It's a kaleidoscope of mirror shards, arranged in intricate geometric patterns that shimmer and reflect light in a mesmerizing dance. This unique style of decoration known as Ainikari, is a testament to the skilled craftsmen of the era. The palace's architectural elements also tell tales of cultural exchange. Notice the European-inspired paintings adorning the ceilings, a nod to the Qajar dynasty's fascination with Western art and culture. In 2005, the Golestan Palace was granted the status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a well-deserved recognition of its historical and cultural significance. It's not just a palace, it's a time capsule, preserving centuries of Persian art, culture and history under its domes and arches. The Golestan Palace has stood the test of time, bearing witness to the rise and fall of dynasties, the evolution of art and architecture, and the ever-changing rhythm of life in Tehran. It's a testament to the grandeur of Persian royal life, a legacy etched in stone and glass, and a beacon of Iran's rich cultural heritage. The Golestan Palace, a jewel in Tehran's crown, encapsulates the lavishness of Persian royal life. Our journey concludes in the ancient city of Yazd a marvel of human adaptation to the harsh desert environment. Situated on the high, arid plateau of Iran, Yazd is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of its people. The city's unique architecture is immediately striking. The skyline of Yazd is dotted with wind catchers or badgers, an ancient form of air conditioning. These towering structures catch even the slightest breeze and funnel it down into the buildings, creating a cool and refreshing atmosphere in the scorching desert heat. Yazd's buildings are made of mud brick, a material that has been used for thousands of years in the region. These buildings with their sun-dried bricks and high walls have a rustic charm that speaks of the city's long history. The labyrinth of narrow streets and alleyways, designed to provide shade and block the wind, is a perfect example of how the city's architecture has evolved to adapt to its environment. But Yazd is not only known for its distinctive architecture, it's also a significant center for Zoroastrian culture. Zoroastrianism, one of the world's oldest continuously practiced religions, has deep roots in this city. The fire temples of Yazd, where sacred flames have been kept alight for centuries, are a profound symbol of this ancient faith. The Towers of Silence, where Zoroastrians traditionally laid their dead to rest, stand as solemn reminders of the city's spiritual heritage. As we walk through the sun-baked streets of Yazd, we can't help but feel a deep connection to the past. This city, with its wind-whispered tales and mud-brick homes offers a unique glimpse into Iran's rich history. Yazd, with its wind-whispered tales and sun-baked streets, leaves us with a deep appreciation of Iran's enduring history. From the grandeur of palaces to the spirituality of ancient temples, we've traveled through Iran's historical tapestry. We've treaded the grounds of Persepolis, where the Achaemenid Empire once thrived, and marveled at the architectural masterpiece that is Naqsh-e-Jahan Square. We've braved the desert to witness the ziggurat of Chokazanbil, 
a testament to the sophistication of ancient Elamite civilization. In the heart of Tehran we've admired the opulence of the Golestan Palace, a monument to Persian craftsmanship. And finally we've roamed the ancient city of Yazd, a living testament to human adaptation in harsh desert environments. Each site, a chapter in the story of Iran, has offered us a glimpse into the past, enriching our understanding of this nation's diverse history. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Iran's historical wonders. Until next time, keep discovering.